We're, We're having, having a baby. baby. <laughs> We're so excited. Yeah. A couple people guessed. Yeah. That it was yeah. a crib. A just, few. Just a couple. Just a few. Yeah. But we're really excited. We're about a little over halfway through, almost five months. Um, yeah. So we're getting close. We're oh. so excited. <laughs> we're gonna get started on decorating a baby room and setting it up. And we got some really cool ideas that we're really excited to share with you. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. At first, I was not feeling great. Yeah, it was you, hard, first trimester, and then. You could have seen it in the footage if you were watching close. <laughs> yeah. I took a couple naps in there. <laughs> but doing a lot better now. I just can't wait to meet other baby. <laughs> found out right after we got to this cabin the second time and that's kind of why we decided just to finish the exterior instead of going into the interior because we thought ah get a little more settled and start setting up a little bit more of a home base We can't wait to meet our little baby girl. Boy. Boy. Girl. Oh, could not be better. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. We just can't wait to kind of start this next chapter of our lives and... Keep adding to the family. <laughs> yep. So we went to our first ultrasound and we found out that it's a little baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> we we're so excited. We are. We're really excited. Everything was super healthy too. She's doing great. I got to see all her little fingers and toes and it was really cool. Yeah, well, that's... <laughs> So since we know now that it's going to be a little girl, we can start thinking more about what the mobile is going to look like. And the first one we come up with is a little azalea flower. It's a very bright, vibrant color and it's a cool little flower and it's going to actually carve out really well too, I think. So I'm going to start on drawing out a pattern and just start carving. I was a little bit worried to work with the mesquite wood in a carving sense because it's such a hard wood and typically wood carvings are done with softer woods. The mesquite actually worked really well with the Dremel in order to remove material. I was very pleased with that and excited that I finally able to work mesquite wood because I've tried in the past, it's just too hard to do with a knife. Alrighty, this guy right here is looking good. I'm going to uh, seal it and then from there let it dry and on to paint. Last week we got the flower done. This week we're gonna try a little butterfly. So I have it drawn out here and I just glued it to this piece of mesquite. Cut it out and carve. This piece of mesquite is way too thick. I don't really wanna try and cut it in half now. I think it'll be easier later. Plus it'll have a lot more depth for mistakes. 
Not that I make any. Cut the butterfly all carved out. Now I'm just going to start painting it, I think. I go through a couple of different phases. I painted it the first time, it was a little too dark. So I decided to lighten it up. I think that's gonna go really well with the mobile and with that other flower on there. I'm thinking I'll do one more butterfly and one more flower. And then Ellie's got some different types of leaves I think she's gonna do. So really excited about getting to those, painting those, carving those. For now, this guy's finished and I'm really happy with how he came out. We're gonna start moving the crib into the baby room. So we're excited, we gotta, we gotta tear it down a little bit. We've built it so it comes apart. That way we can get it in through doors. Yeah, this is kind of big and heavy. Uh, yeah. It looks so cute in here, doesn't it? I'm gonna get started on the baby mobile again. I'm hoping to get the mobile finished up this week. I got a couple butterflies and some leaves to do. It's really fun to be able to spend time together working on a project. Something about working together that's different than playing together. It's really fun to be able to do that and have our, like you said, our own touches kind of put into a project that's so cool. You know, it's for our little, our little baby girl. I'm excited for her to get here. <laughs> we're making the top ring for the mobile that everything's gonna hang off of. We were trying to figure out what material to make it out of. And I think that we're gonna go with horseshoes. So we just have like a bunch of halves, and I gotta cut one more because this is the wrong direction. But um, kind of go like this and have a bit of a, a square-like circle. Will this thing up? It looks kind of cool. I like it. it. Does it looks really cool? A little bit wavy, but that's fine. That's character. Yeah. I'm gonna go quench it. And we just gotta drill some holes in it and get some string together. And then give it a quick coat of paint. We got all the little outside hanging pieces done. Now we're gonna go inside and see how it looks on the curb. Yeah. The room is coming together so good with you know, all the little art that Shay and Brie did and the crib and the rocking chair and the little just all the little touches and the baby mobile. Uh, I really love it. It's so cute. You look in and you just like, I don't know, you can just see all the love and time that's been put into it already for her. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.